I think you know it shows our character. You know, we play hard, we practice, uh, practice situations, and you know when you go hard and do things you're supposed to in practice, you know they end up happening in the game, and you're able to react the right way. Talk about how how you guys are able to play off each other, especially in the clutch. We're like a two-headed monster, as you can see. You know, it's, it's hard to guard us, as I can say. Uh, you know, he just he create open lanes for himself. He create open lanes for me. I create open lanes for him. We create open lanes for everybody. So we make it easy for for everybody to score. So quickly, you had two very big free throws at the end of overtime. There, what was going through your mind? My mind was everywhere, man. <laughs> my mind was everywhere, man. I just the only thing that was going to my mind was making these two free throws. That's all I said. Guys, he stormed out to a great second start to the second half at a ten point lead and then lost and knocked the peak came back. What were you guys telling each other on the bench to keep your resolve and get back into the game? Just stay focused, keep playing, you know, we're gonna make mistakes and we gotta play through them, you know. They're gonna go on their run, we're gonna go on our run. We just gotta make sure ours is a bigger one than theirs. I think you're one of the few players that went, were here last year. Is this a game that you think you guys would have won last year? Well, I mean, I, 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 I mean, you can speak on last year, but I mean, I'm more worried about this year, so I'm not gonna say anything. Talk about how big um, Kerr was coming off the bench with his points and his rebounding. He was a spark. You know, he came off. He gave us energy. You know, sometimes you just need energy off the bench to uh, help you. You know, get, get back to what you're doing. Well, I think it's you know important on this day to, to start it off and just. Um, Thank the veterans out there uh, for all that they do for this country. Um, you know, it's a great example. It doesn't matter who the president is, what political affiliation, those guys are out there and they do their job. They do their job to protect us every single day. Um, and uh, on this day, it's just a day to honor them, especially here at the University of South Florida that does such an un unbelievable job. Obviously, our community has a strong military foundation, and obviously so does our university. So uh, started off like that and um, move on to the game. You know, we, 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 what, what can you say? I mean, we play hard. Uh, we play with great energy and intensity. We play physical, and Austin P matched us every step of the way. They're really good. They're well coached. They're tough. They're trying to find themselves a little bit too. They got some returning players from a team that won 19 games last year. They were picked last in the league and took third and made it to the semifinals of their conference tournament, um, replacing a couple good players, but they got good players stepping in. Uh, so that's a team that maybe no one, you know, I asked our guys three weeks ago, not this week, you know, where is Austin P? Hey, half the guys don't even know, okay? But that's the way college basketball is nowadays. There's talent everywhere. There's good players everywhere. And you got to bring it every single day and just take a look at this past weekend. So with that being said, our guys did do that. They came and they played hard. They played uh, with great energy. They played with toughness and some grit and some resiliency. We hung in there in the first half. We had some wide open shots, some good offense, just not able to make those baskets. Um, and then in, you know, in the second half kind of stretched it, but then kind of got a little bit out of sorts. Our consistency and our connection on the court is going to be our biggest challenges throughout this year as we continue to, to find ourselves and learn how to play at this level for 40 minutes. Um, a lot of good basketball from a lot of guys. Just proud of our guys. And they just kept fighting, and they figured out a way with kind of toughness and, and um, some grit to, to win the game. Coach, for the second game in a row, had a double-digit lead, and the other team came back, took the lead. Can you talk about how the team has handled adversity? Because they seem to be just real chilled throughout the whole game. Yeah, you know, um, maybe too chilled. You know, um, you, and, and see, again, we're, you're, you're playing against another team, so it's not always what you do. You know, sometimes the other team finds a rhythm and makes some shots and gets some defensive stops. But obviously the free throws during that stretch didn't help. We had some opportunities to extend the lead at the free throw line. Um, made some, you know, some offensive plays that weren't as smart as we need to make. Um, but again, I think the point you're trying to make is our, we got a competitive group. I think it's a great trait. We're very, very, very competitive. Um, and some guys, 
you know, you can see maybe shook a little bit in terms of some of the mistakes they made, but they were able to bounce back. And uh, I think that's a great trait for, for us moving forward because, you know, we're going to have a lot of these games. Just knock down, drag out, WWE, try to figure out how to win it. And uh, we did tonight. I know um, Kerr probably makes you want to pull your hair out sometimes, but he gave you some very quality minutes, it appeared, tonight. Well, sometimes would be the understatement of the evening. <laughs> um, but I'd rather have to cool a guy down than heat him up. And he's just learning, you know what I mean? He's just, he's just learning, but he does play hard, plays with great energy, gets a lot of positive things done. Um, and, and so you just, you got to keep coaching him, you know, and it's going to take some time. You know, you got to have some patience with the, the, the guys that are, are playing extended minutes and, and playing a vital role on a team at this level for the first time in their careers. It's big, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big jump. Um, but I thought, you know, Lex got the foul trouble. He played 13 minutes, he gets four rebounds for us, three defensive rebounds. We need him out there, you know, because he's our best rebounder. And I'm on Mike Doerr about rebounding, and I look at the stats, he gets 10 defensive rebounds for us, you know. So, um, you know, we're young when it comes to those positions, you know. Um, no post player, Nick played, you know, four minutes. No post player has ever played at this level. It, 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 and it played a significant role in, a, in an important game. So all those guys are new. Man, Mike, Yetna, um, and Antoon. So we got some room to grow there. But again, I, I, I like the, the, the energy and the passion and we just, you know, like I said in the last game, some stuff you see on TV that, uh, you know, we. At this level now, it's it's a point of emphasis, so we got to learn that. Coach, not a great half, uh, first half from the field. You guys only shot 28%, but you guys went 50% from the field in the second half. Yeah. Change. Um, we got some we got some stops and got some breaks, um, but we finished some more plays around the basket. The other thing is second chance points. You know, we get 17, so on some of those misses, we were able to get some putbacks. You know, I thought the, the 15 offensive rebounds were big. We were plus seven on the glass, which is important for us. Um, you know, we, we, wa we want to be plus five on the glass. We were plus seven, so that was good. We want to hold teams under 42%. They shot 33. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we did a lot of the objectives that we wanted. The, the, you know, this was a game that you could have had 25, 26 turnovers. And so to keep it to 18, in a 45-minute game is actually pretty good. But we made some shots, too. David made a big three. TJ made a big three. But we finished some plays around the basket, which in the first half we didn't do. You mentioned uh, getting in and around the basket. You guys outscored them 38-16 in the paint. Your guards were going to the paint. Your forwards were getting to the paint. Mm -hmm. What was it that you were able to dominate in the painted area? Well, we, we do have, you know, in, in David and Q, we have two very physical guards. You know, um, so they can take body blows and still get the shot up and finish. Uh, and, our, and our big guys were active around there too. You know, they kept switching back, man and zone. I thought our guys handled that change really well in terms of executing what we wanted to execute. Um, you know, so, and again, you know, we, we're, we are bigger and stronger than we have been. So attacking the rack and getting to the basket is something that is important to us. And it also gets you to the free throw line. Now, you can't miss 20 of them. You know what I mean? So, um, but that's something that, you know, we need to, again, you get to the free throw line, you need to take a deep breath, you need to relax, and you need to shoot the ball, and, and we'll get better there as well. Taylor was a point of emphasis in the scouting. Mm -hmm. And at the under 12 timeout in the first half, he only had two points, and they came in free throw line. What was he doing differently after that? Well, he got four offensive rebounds. I don't know how many he got in the first half. I think he two, so he got two in the second half. He made the, the he made the you know the big the big three in the second half, but he was just active around the basket and it tips and taps and uh, you know he the six for 12, but he, he got 11 free throws. I don't know how many he shot in the first half if he shot any. 
but he was much more aggressive in the second half, and that got him to the free throw line. And, and you know, to get 21 points you got, and you only take 12 shots, probably either got to shoot it really well, which six for 12 is good, but you got to get to the line, and that's what he did. He got to the line. But the one thing we did force him into, um, we forced him into three turnovers. And then their senior guard, Harris, who's been playing exceptionally well, started the game really well, we forced him into five turnovers. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, it's a different f area of our game that we didn't have last year. We can get after the ball and guard the ball and force some turnovers with our pressure. We don't really press. Um, you know, so that's an area, too, where, you know, there were some areas that I saw tonight that I know we, we're going to struggle at at this particular point in the season, which is good. Now, our guys got to be um, open to learning and, and not stubborn in terms of doing it their way, being disciplined to our system and our style, which is one of our, you know, things that we always talk about. And, and if they do that, then we can eliminate at least lessen some of the areas that we struggled at tonight. Coach, you've got basically a brand new team coming in here. Mm -hmm. uh, does a win like this kind of help your team come together and bond? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, again, I'll be brutally – any win right now in this program is a great win with where we're at. You know what I mean? And we, we're going to we, – we celebrate in there. Yes. So this is, this is a good win for us. This is a really good win. Again, one of the reasons is I think that team is going to win a lot of games this year. You know, so I don't know what their schedule is, if they got a bunch of bye games, you know, because sometimes they, they, you know, those teams have to buy, you know, get bought a lot. But in that league, that team's going to be good. Um, but to, to, to grind out the win, to make the mistakes that we made in some critical times, if those guys are willing to learn from it, not only will it get us, you know, like you said, you know, kind of that connection gets built, but also, guys, you know, guys will learn. They always say it's fix the roof when the sun's shining, not when it's raining. So the sun shine because we won, but we got some holes in the roof we need to get to.